watershed is a region draining into a river, a river system, or other body of water. The Russian River flows through the counties of Sonoma and Mendocino. It springs near Willits and Mendocino and empties out between Jenner and Goat Rock Beach. The Russian River runs through Northern California and houses a large amount of reptile, invertebrate, and important plant and animal habitat. The key human activities that occur in the Russian River watershed are channel straightening, agriculture, recreation, mining for deposits, timber harvesting, dams, and development for houses and roads. The key issues that affect the Russian River watershed are a balance between recreation and the health of the river. Education on how people impact the river has been an issue for quite some time. Another is timber harvest, which is impacting water and animals that use the environment. Last, development waste is being dumped into the river, causing pollution and killing flora and fauna. Damn. 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 The dam is a barrier constructed across a waterway to control the flow or raise the level of water. Dams are used to prevent flooding, collect hydropower, to assist fishing, and much more. Some dams include buttress dams, gravity dams, summer dams, rubber dams, and many others. Dams have assisted human life for quite some time and hopefully will continue to. Russian River dams are all fairly small. Some are rubber dams, some are year-round dams, and there are a few summer dams. The tallest dam in the Russian River is a mere 8 feet, which is very petite compared to the other dams. In the summer they slow down the flow of the river and hopefully will be assisting the Russian River for years to come. My name is Ranger Bill Trinick with Sonoma County Regional Parks. I've been a park ranger for Sonoma County for 19 years. Dams, depending upon your point of view, are either good or bad in that they do impound the water so that we have drinking water. They, many dams are connected with hydroelectric power so it creates our energy, uh, it provides the drinking water, but uh, ecologically they do, they are a limited amount of time in that no matter what you do, you're going to get uh, siltation behind the dam. Like here at Healdsburg Beach, we have had to build a fish ladder so that the the shad, which is an introduced species, would be able to come up even in the summer months and come up to their summer spawning grounds and breed. 
you can go back in the history books and read where the Russian River would even be able, people would be able to walk across, step across the Russian River in the summertime. We have a constant flow even now. Uh, and so it's changed. Is that good? Is that bad? I'm not going to say yay or nay on either one, but it has changed the environment and the ecology around here. We have three major dams on the Russian River, Lake Mendocino, Guildsburg Veterans Memorial Beach, Warm Springs Dam, Del Rio Woods, Johnson's Beach Dam, Oddfellows Bridge as well. And they all affect the flow of the river. Obviously dams impede, impede the water, back it on up. Many of the dams are in place for flood mitigation to stop flooding, plus also for water. And most of Sonoma County and part of Marin County receive their drinking water from the Russian River. The major players involved with the Russian River watershed dams are Community Alliance with Family Farmers, Community Clean Water Institute, Environmental Center of Sonoma County, Friends of the Russian River, Russian River Environmental Forum, the Russian River Watershed Council, Russian River Watershed, Protection Committee, Salmon Creek Watershed Council, Sonoma County Conservation Council, Town Hall Coalition, and many, many more. Along the Russian River, there are pebble mining plants, as well as dams that are using the hydraulic energy of the river. The effects that the dams have on the plants and animal life are that the salmon growth can become restricted due to the blocking of the river. Yes, the Russian River watershed is completely natural, except for the parts that have been diverted by dams. Yes, watershed management has been going on since the time of the Native Americans, and is still in place today. Yes, the actions that have been taken have been agreed on by the Watershed, watershed Council, and have effective results. Yes, rubber dams are used in times when dams are needed temporarily. There are no aspects of this situation that make it difficult for, water for good watershed management to be put in place. There are not big dams. They are controlled by people who don't need to use the dams for collecting hydropower. So their purpose is just to block or change the flow of the river. Dams are also used sparsely throughout the river so they do not play a major role on the Russian River watershed. The key next steps in Russian River dams are getting rid of dams that are now ineffective. Money is being wasted every year to put up small dams that no longer assist or help anything. This money could be more effectively put to use with things like destroying dams that are actually doing harm to the ecosystem. The end. <laughs>